Good morning. Say hi. Good morning. I think she said hi. Hopefully she said good morning. We are in Nelson here behind the wholesale club. We just loaded at, I think, Zap. I think it's called Zap down there. Strapped everything down over here. Let's show you guys the load. It is a bunch of railings and grates. And down here, there is so much loose dunnage. It's like loose dunnage here, loose dunnage there. It's like, that's all a ticket, man. It's all a ticket. So I had to go through the load. There's like mud down there. That's all a ticket too, but it's frozen solid. And I don't see it unthawing, so it should be okay. It's not loose. Bunch of railings here. Down a little back alley here, and it can be a little tricky getting in and out over here. So let's hammer down. Get this ugly load. The uh, back railings here go to Abbotsford. The front two lifts go to Delta on Anasis Island. And for those of you two weeks ago asked where the tarps went, they went right here on this deck. The strap comes up through here, just like a ratchet strap. But it's a horrible tripping hazard because I got to climb up this and to get onto the trailer or when I'm tarping the front of a load. Well, I guess the tarps wouldn't be there then, but it's a terrible tripping hazard. Hence why usually the tarps are on the deck. You got your 3D cookies? That's what you call them that. <laughs> Did you say hi at the appropriate time? I hope so. Okay. You may be talking over me, but nothing, Probably. nothing new there. Let's try trying to give you visual clues. <laughs> I might have timed it out, we'll see. All right, let's hammer down. Nelson, BC, down a little back alley. Sounds like a song. Keep going. Keep going? What kind of song would that be? Country? I don't know. What are we talking about? I'll take my 3D cookie. This is actually a really busy little back alley. A lot of people park here, walk across the railroad to go to work on that side. A car, you don't have to smash into the fence. I'm not that big. A lot of people live over here and it's all reserved here. Yeah, reserved parking spots for across the street. This isn't bad. Sometimes there's cars parked in a way here that this is almost impossible to make. So I try to avoid this alley. This corner here is still going to be tricky because I got to go up a steep hill around a sharp corner across a railroad. So can't have any traffic on either side, either way direction. It's been much tighter and much worse. It's, it's downright, right, downright easy this time. It's a beautiful town. I really like it. I would want to live in it, 
but it's a nice place to visit. I wouldn't mind living close to it. paintings on buildings with that big floating heart in that building it's just neat just a painting at the right angle So we did get unloaded yesterday, but did not get loaded yesterday. We just got loaded today morning. Kind of thought that's what was going to happen. Yep. It's okay though. Found a good parking spot. Yeah, we went and got behind the mall. Basically. We went east in the front of the mall, looped around the back of the mall, and slept right behind the Walmart. That way we got washrooms at least till 9 p.m. Till Walmart and Save on Foods closed. And then today morning we got washrooms at the customer's place. So this load... <coughs> This, this should have all been built in July. This was a project that was halfway built in July in a place in Grand Forks. And then they went bankrupt. Somebody had to pick up the incomplete project from Grand Forks, bring it over here. These guys finished the job over here with bankruptcy, everything took forever. The stuff is for a customer in Grand Forks. Actually, the town of Grand Forks. But now it has to go all the way to Abbotsford and Delta. Uh, the railings have to get paint, sandblasted and painted in Abbotsford, which is crazy why they can't sandblast and paint it over here. And then the stuff going to Delta is getting sandblasted and then galvanized. And then coming all the way back to Grand Forks. There's a tiny little chance I'll be loading this load again in, in Delta coming back to Grand Forks. didn't pay the place that went bankrupt ahead of time or else they had to pay for the job twice. I'm not sure how that all works with bankruptcy. Why is there no PO on this paperwork? I have an answer. So good.
it's a good cake. You picked the best, best birthday cake in the world. It's super expensive, but we will talk about that. How much was it? Like $28. Okay, $28 for a small little cake like that? Uh, $26, $28, something. You know what, that. though? It was so good. I think it's worth that amount of money. Versus a $15 cake that tastes like garbage, I would take the more expensive one. Yeah, this one doesn't just taste like sugar. You know what I mean? No, it has lots of flavor to it. Rich, yeah. chocolatey, salty, caramelly With the flavor. buttercream. Yeah. Yeah. It was made local here at Elson, too. Instead of the bakery, we actually drive past. Okay. Today. Do you know where to so look? So next time go to that bakery instead. Look at online, the price online, we actually saved a dollar by buying it. Instead of the bakery. Yeah, I'm confused huh. by that. So the bakery charges. Maybe the bakery made a deal. It's like you can't charge a lot less than we charge in our own store or something like that. Yeah, I'm not sure. I just know I would I think it's called price fixing though. I would recommend really good. We have leftovers for later. What's the bakery called? Lucky. Lucky? Yeah. Uh, lucky. Lucky bakery. Snowmobiles on the back of that pickup. I don't know where he's going to go snowmobiling because there's no sn not enough snow on top of the mountains to go snowmobiling yet. A lot of people use it just for weight. <coughs> yeah, but the snowmobiles in the back get extra weight on the pickup on icy roads. One train rumbled by us last night. It was, it was quiet. It was a good spot to sleep. But was... Train track. We literally stopped right next to that train track. But only one train. I slept really well. No. <laughs> you can sleep right now. We can record some snoring sounds. And Put that on the ASMR relaxing sleep channel. I don't want to record that. case scenario we can be there by 4 4 30 it's not stopping for lunch or fuel I'm not sure how the pass looks either yeah well also wasn't too bad yesterday I think we're getting snow on Thursday Friday when I saw the forecast, but depends on where you are, I guess. This might be a sloppy, sloppy end to this week. And yeah, I put a lot of straps on this load. 
I didn't put any chains on it. It's not heavy. It's mostly air. It's it's definitely not heavy. It's a pretty darn light load. So I didn't feel the need of to put chains on it because it's so darn light. But all these awkward shapes, I'm like, like I need a strap on everything so nothing can move. And then I kept pulling all those loose dunnage out of the bottom. It's like, yep, the, you're, you, I see what you wanted this dunnage for, but it's not actually doing anything because I can pull it out with my hands. So I'm pulling it out. It's called an insecure load if I leave it in there. It looks like hell is in the hope slide. It's probably going to be icy. Oh, yippee. Man, that river is just dead calm, glassy mirror. needs to give out headlamps for Christmas gifts or something every year. I know they give you that hat with the light built in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little light in the tube. That was actually handy until it stopped working. Yeah. That actually lasted a long time too for how rough I was on it. colors left on these trees. figure it out. 
the other guy goes, you're bending the railing. He goes, no, I'm not. That's the ones that are two-piece ones. I look down. I'm, no, that's one solid piece, and you bent them. Not my problem. It's just steel. They can bend it back. But... Well, you don't get blamed. How would I? How would a truck driver bend that kind of? I don't know. Insulation shrink wrap, especially the front one, just completely fell apart. So they really had to take their time unloading it. And one of the dumped over anyway and had to be hand bombed, reloaded. So it took forever to get it unloaded. So, yeah, best case scenario, there's no way we could have loaded this load yesterday, even if I had known. I could have been there a bit earlier, but not early enough to load. So, yeah. I'm just calling it BS on the one of the speaker at noon yesterday. But yet, yeah, deliver this load yesterday. Yeah, yeah it just. Communication. There, yes, communication. There is one way that that could have happened. If I had started driving at like 5 30 in the morning, unload at 7 a.m., or no, load at 7 a.m., the insulation get over here on load that would have barely been enough time but my debt batteries were dead there's no way that was ever going to happen because i couldn't leave until after seven when i got got a boost so, yeah i can see how his plan even that was squeaky squeaky close but giving him the benefit of the doubt you know oh. he had a plan that was possible but sometimes I wonder if dispatch thinks I have a rocket on my back. So, I think we're running right on schedule. To my schedule, the best we can do. So what do you think? You're thinking that there's a load in Vancouver? I think like you're gonna get a Timber Mart. Mm, yep, probably. Timber Mart to melt. Yep, so that will be Wednesday afternoon. Deliver that Thursday morning in Nelson. Thursday afternoon, load something at KMT. Maybe deliver on Friday. They probably want me to deliver on Friday. Won't get home till Saturday. There we go. There's the week's plan. A bit of a pessimistic low look. <laughs> Slow can river.
day was today's meeting? Three o'clock? Probably two. Two o'clock? We'll see if we have cell service for that. Call it a town hall meeting. I know I missed the last one. I've actually never gone to a town hall meeting. This is the second one they've had, so the third. maybe the third one. Okay. I don't think it will work because I think you'll be coming out of Manny Parker and Manny Park. Probably right. I agree. Probably be in the middle of nowhere. Does it say we get paid for the meeting? I have no clue. If we get paid for it, I'll find a way to stop. If we don't get paid for it, then. If I have cell service, great. If not, then no. I still don't think it'll be worth it. You'd have to see if there's a chance to unload part of it today or not. Yeah, I should make that phone call. Hey, how's it going? Good. Uh, quick question. Do you know what time uh, the location in Abbotsford closes? p.m. Okay, because I'm thinking my EKA is 4, 4.30, so 5 p.m. So I might be able to deliver Abbotsford today and then Delta tomorrow morning. Okay. What's our reload? Three okay, cool. Thanks. Bye. What's our reload? Yeah, I want to know. Ah. You probably doesn't even know. So five, five o'clock. Yep. We'll hammer down then and try to get her in there. 
So unload there. It's Anasis Island. Where are we gonna sleep for that? That's pretty far down the road. Probably Langley's probably the best bet. I, I just... I would like to sleep at the scale or at the truck stop, but I know for a fact that's long full by then. So probably Langley's the best bet. Someone put bullets through the scale in Laidlaw, close to Hope. Ever since then, this scale has not been open. I wonder if it's a security precaution? I guess they want to put up cameras and bulletproof glass before all the scales open. I have not, actually, I have not gone through a single open scale since then. Mm -hmm. um, when we are on vacation, the Kamloops scale was open. That's the only scale I've seen open since the shooting. Yeah, that unique to think about. I wonder if they're just in that phase of trying to figure out security measures or make sure there's make sure there's lots of cameras up and bulletproof glass. I noticed the Laid Law does have brand new glass in it. CPSC officers driving around. And we saw the Cleeton scale open yesterday. I don't know if it was open, they were parked there. Yeah, they were parked there. This is only open the opposite direction, they never look at the sign. Yeah. Welcome to Castle. 
muscle car. Why do they have this guy today? <coughs> Excuse me. Very blue sky. I think that's a short four letter word. Uh, it's probably open. Scale's open. I'm wrong, you're right. Did you say it was going to be open? I didn't choose the opposite of whatever oh. you said, so probably. Because you said close. You were just surprised that, my, that I said it would be closed, so. Yeah. So this is about, what, 50 kilometers or so? Might as well do a load trick here at the scale. Go through the scale, pull to the side, go check the load, make sure all my straps are nice and tight. All of that. I'm trying to think, is there any questions I could ask CVSE? And I can't think of any. since I've gone in and asked questions. I like going in and asking questions. Get it straight from CVSE's mouth. Yeah, we have a different approach than a lot of people do, though. Do. Yeah, people are like, avoid scale, avoid scale, avoid scale, don't talk to them. It's like, eh, you know what? I like talking, asking the questions. If I don't know for sure, go in and ask. Like, we have business cards for a few of them that we yeah. don't call and ask. People always are like, oh, I don't know my weight, the permits, blah, blah. I'm like, have you called the scale? Yep, just ask. Because that's kind of their job. Keep the roads safe. Educate us. You've never gotten the negative attitude from asking a question. No. <laughs> In the U.S. I have. I went in the one scale and got threatened to get a ticket because of stuff. I'm like, I'm just coming in and ask. I didn't even have to stop in here. The, the sign on the road said bypass. I came in anyway because I had some questions. Are you threatening to give me a ticket? I'm like, that's the freaking last time I'm coming in and asking you guys questions if I don't know. It's like, this is the first time we have a load like this. And I say that that's why you want me stick to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going into DOT in the U.S. again. I think that was in uh, Oregon. I think the difference is up here, these guys are not police officers down in the States. DOT is usually police officers. Quick load secure, make sure all our straps are tight. Everything's nice and snug. As I expected, but you never know. Sometimes, sometimes a strap loosens off because it stuff shakes around and moves and shifts. I was a thief while you were gone. What's that? I was a thief while you were gone. You were a thief? Yeah. What were you stealing? Oh, you stole my cord. I had 16% left of my battery, so I stole it. Sure. You wanted to plug in your phone over mine? Yeah, maybe you can set your good for a while. I forgot to charge mine overnight. Yes. Better view. 
of the road. Something's a little tricky getting back on the road here. Yeah, there are actually good solutions here. Yep. In fact, I think they should just make split the road and make it on medium median scale by putting the other side of the road on the other side of the scale. There's room. Buy the property on that side. It might even be crown land. Put put the road on the other side, have it a median scale, it would be so much easier. And it would be safer. Yep. I think this is a good place to end the video. You guys have seen us climb up and over Paulson a lot of times. I think you're leaving Nelson would be a little bit different than normal video. Parts of the road are the same, but we don't we don't shoot at a Nelson very often, so change it up because the rest of the day is just gonna be Highway 3, which I shoot all the time. Figuring it out around us here. Good, good. <laughs> Don't want another car to merge into the side of me. The blinding sun. That's straight south. We're facing straight south, and the sun is straight south. How many? How many? Anybody that lives further south doesn't understand that. It is what 9, 9 a.m. and the sun is, I guess, not straight south. It'd be south, south east south. And that's as high as the sun gets in the sky. That doesn't get any higher. It looks like sunrise all day long, except it skirts around the south end. Anyhow. Who's texting us? Your sister. Okay. Anyhow, we're going to bail out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Apparently I'm getting lots of texts. You're in a group text. Okay. So am I. Alright, I'll see you guys. We will see you guys tomorrow. Somewhere probably Somewhere, in the yeah. city. Anyway, we're out of here. You guys rock. Adios.